Okay, welcome to another banjo tutorial. This one is for uh, in hell, I'll be in good company. Um, so, getting right to it. Once again, this song is going to be in uh, shuffle feel, right? So that means you're alternating the duration of each note in that part. So uh, the verse in this song uh, sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, that's in shuffle feel. If there were no shuffle feel, it would sound like this. Okay, so that shuffle feel kind of gives it that ta 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 like, like you're riding a horse, like that kind of rhythm, right? Um, uh, so pay co close attention to this symbol. That means you are playing in shuffle feel, and then when you see this, uh, that means it's just there's no more shuffle feel, so no more alternating the duration of the notes. Um, <clears throat> so one of the key concepts in this song uh, that you'll take away, and this is really going to help your writing if that's something that you're interested in doing, um, is this idea of using the space of an open string to move your left hand up or down the neck. Okay, so in this song we go from playing that uh, that main riff in the verse. And right up into this run part. Okay, the reason I'm able to get my hand so fast from the uh, bottom of the neck to the top of the neck uh, and make it sound like I'm not missing a beat is because I'm using two open, two notes on open strings to get there, right? Now this next pluck of the D string and the next pluck of the B string are both open. I use the space of those two notes to bring my left hand up and get ready into the next position and then I'm ready to play the run. And even in the run itself, I'm hitting this open fifth string over and over again, which is, allows me to jump up and down the neck uh, without missing a beat. Open string, open string. Now I use that open string to come up here. I use the open string to come back down. Etc. Okay, so that's a main, a huge concept when you're when you're going to start writing parts. Uh, sometimes you're going to be you're going to want to jump up and down the neck and a perfect way to uh, allow yourself to do that is to throw in some open notes or sorry open strings uh, when you need them and use them strategically uh, to be able to hop your hand up and down the neck. Okay, I broke this song down into uh, three parts. I did the verse, uh, the run and the run uh, what I'm talking about is this high part. Okay, that's the run and the chorus, okay? Uh, the verse I'm just gonna play through one time on its own, it's just a repeating, you guys know it. Right, it just kind of repeats that, it goes to an F and a D. Uh, so we're just gonna play through that part once, three different speeds, then just the this run on its own at three different speeds. Uh, that part I put at even lower speeds than the rest of the song because it's obviously the, the trickiest part and the fastest part. Uh, and then we're also going to do the chorus at three speeds. Okay, the song is in uh, G minor, open G minor tuning. Uh, so you take the second string, tune it from uh, a B down to an A sharp. And uh, yeah, we're playing in three finger style, so please enjoy. Thank you. 
Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, if you have any questions, find me on Instagram at the Colton Crawford. And uh, yeah, I plan on doing a lot of these in the next uh, couple of months. So stay tuned. Thanks.